Linetta from Discovery Garden Montessori. I am a, lead, a primary lead here. Today I'll be talking you through the sorting work of striped and spotted. So you'll want to kind of have a label for each and kind of give a kid a, a visual representation of what it is. So stripes, there's of course stripes and spots, there's spots. This will help the kiddos that are not quite reading yet. And then you just have a bunch of different pictures of animals or fruit um, that you can have the kids sort it, sort. So we have a zebra. And you can talk to them about how they, the zebra has stripes. So it would go with the stripes. Or a ladybug. It has dots on its back. And dots are another word for spotted. So they would just go through the different cards and see which goes where. The cheetah has spots. And you would do this on a rug where you have more space to be able to lay out all of your cards. And this is the striped and spotted work.